24. Well, if I can, there we go. Sebaceous carcinoma. Well, I guess maybe, but I, I thought this just looked like squam in situ. But, but it's pretty faded. And, you know, I see a lot of squam in situs that have bubbly cyto, uh, cytoplasm. And I, people have described sebaceous carcinoma as in situ only. But I've, I see this phenomenon so often, little lipid bubbles in like boanoid looking squam in situ that I've just basically come to disregard it. I used to stain it sometimes. And if it really is sebaceous differentiation, then I would say that I see in situ sebaceous carcinoma like several times per week. And that just seems unlikely to me. So I've just come to accept that you can get lipid bubbles in some squam in situ. I don't know if that's right, but that's the way I regard it. Um, if I have invasive sebaceous carcinoma and then I see in situ carcinoma next to it, then I'll say, well, hey, that probably is in situ growth of the sebaceous carcinoma. But usually I personally like to see invasion before calling something sebaceous carcinoma. And other people may totally disagree with that, but that's been the approach I've taken. So take it with a handful of salt.